I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you, you and the person that you're dealing with. And we'll find out what's coming up for the two of you. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Pisces, the recent past energy between you and your person. We got the Ace of Swords, and it's with the Three of Swords. Now, the Ace of Swords can indicate a new beginning of some sort in your life, possibly on several fronts. Sometimes, this new beginning, it gets started by a separation of some kind. Could be from a relationship, from a job, from a neighborhood, from, or just some type of situation. Just know that as anxiety producing, as such a new beginning can sometimes be, underneath it all is actually good, beneficial energy. That's getting you to where you want to go, where you need to be. Now it's with the Three of Swords. With this card, there's actually an element of sorrow, and it's undeniable. But what's on the other side of this sorrow can be enhanced understanding and joy. So allow yourself to fully experience any sorrow or pain that comes up so that you can move past it. This card, it can point to very deep, maybe a very deep emotional issue. That needs to be addressed before you can move on. Now, keep in mind, if you deny pain, just know that does not make it go away. Um, so, make sure to allow yourself to experience any pain or sadness that comes up. But don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in grief or sadness for long periods of time. However, you're the only one who can decide how long is long enough, and others will not be able to do this for you. So, what I'm getting here for um, you and your person with this recent past energy of the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Three of Swords, is that, um, Pisces, you cut, you cut your person out. Yeah, you, you cut them out of your life. Some of you did this. And somebody got hurt with this Three of Swords. Three of Swords can be about being hurt, feeling rejected. It can be about shutting each other out. Relationship difficulty, severing ties. But I'm getting that. For a lot of you, Pisces, you cut your person out of your life. They got hurt. And you cut them out because you wanted a new beginning. Some type of fresh new start you wanted. But that's the recent past energy. Let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We got the Six of Wands and it's with the Queen of Cups. Now, this Six of Wands, it actually signals victory. So, if you are anxious about a court proceeding, or if you want to win your lover's heart, just know that you will be victorious. This Six of Wands can indicate some type of celebrations. You could be a part of a graduation party or a commencement celebration, or maybe you're receiving a reward for good work that you've done. Six of Wands can make you feel really, really good about yourself. You could feel as though you've got a lot of support from a whole lot of people around you. On the other hand, you could adore someone else. By where adoring them makes you feel amazing. Now, as with the Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups can indicate a woman or a person who will be very helpful to you. She'll remind you to bring love, compassion to your work. And that's even possible, even if we work in a factory all day with objects rather than people. 
So things are probably better in your world when this card appears and you're realizing. Yeah, whenever you see the Queen of Cups or the King of Cups in a reading, just know that those are two of the most loving energies in the deck. It's all about love, kindness, compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life when you get the Queen of Cups or if you see the King of Cups in a reading. So coming up, Pisces, Six of Wands, clarified by this Queen of Cups. So you, like I said, you cut out your person. You cut out someone. Because you wanted a new beginning. And it looks like coming up. I don't know if you went towards someone new, or you went towards someone you already knew. But it looks like wh whatever, whoever you're going towards, you're going to be, uh, you're going to have a lot of um, victory and success with this person. Yeah, because the Six of Wands is really good. Uh, it's about recognition. It's got this kind of um, magnetism and pull type of energy. Um, for example, the Six of Wands, the card above the word present. For example, when you get the Six of Wands, it can suggest that, um, this is just an example of the Six of Wands. You could be the type of person that likes or needs someone to boost your ego, while the other perfect, while the other person that you're dealing with is perfectly fine doing the boosting and admiring. This is called fire of balance. The two of you feed off of each other energetically. With this type of um, chemistry, great chemistry here, you get a lot of sexual energy, and there's passion and long nights spent in bed. So, yeah, Pisces, you're going to um, be making magic. And it's going to feel really good to have this type of recognition and, and attention um, from someone that you, you got a great, great connection with. Because you see, the Six of Wands, the card above the word present, you see this lady, she's standing on the podium, she's waving her wand in the air from side to side. And she's got all these people below her, they're doing exactly the same as she is. They're waving their wands in the air, just like she is. So the, you and your person, you it'll, it will feel like you're mirroring each other. Um, whatever you're thinking, they'll know your thoughts. Whatever they're thinking, you'll know their thoughts. It's going to feel like a deep connection. Great chemistry. Um, yeah. To me, Six of Wands is like that twin flame type of energy. Yeah, where the two of you mirror each other. And it just feels like recognition, success, victory being with this person. So like I said, I don't know. Is this the person that you wanted a new beginning with? For some of you it is. And for others of you, it's someone new coming towards you. And you will be victorious. Yeah, in a lot of ways with this person. Also, because it's with the Queen of Cups, this person will have deep emotions for you. Yeah, they'll want to nurture and heal um, anything that goes wrong in the connection. Very supportive type of energy that's coming towards you. And they'll have deep emotions for you. Yeah, what's in the Queen of Cups hand? What's in the Queen of Cups cup is actually love. So, yeah, this sounds really good. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Now, we got the Page of Swords, and it's with the Wheel of Fortune. Now, the Page of Swords can sometimes stand for an actual person in your life. If this is the case, it will represent a person who's younger than you. Because whenever you hear the word page in the tarot, that can indicate student, youth, immaturity, 
or like I said, maybe someone that's, who's just younger than you. It does indicate that there's a message coming in. Now, in this instance, because it's a page, and as you can see, he's got a huge sword in his hand, it may not be what you're hoping to hear. The page of swords tells us that this person could be trying too hard, pushing too fast, or it could feel like they're stepping on your toes. So you might have to study the body language of this person and consider how well you do or do not accept constructive criticism. Now, it's with the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, with this card, it, it reminds us that this too shall pass. Whether it's good times, whether it's bad times, it passes. Yeah, because the wheel is constantly turning. Constantly, it never stops. So, if suddenly you find yourself sitting on top of the world, make sure you keep your perspective. As that too, like everything else, changes. So, live in the now. Count your blessings. And just realize that much of life is actually outside of our control. But that's even okay. Roll with the changes. And think positive. So, your challenge, Page of Swords, clarified by this Will of Fortune. So, yeah, like I said, um, um, Pisces, you got someone coming towards you. Maybe this is that new beginning you wanted. Maybe that's why you cut your, that recent past person out. Um, but you'll be victorious. In a lot of ways with this person. Um, but the challenge, this page of swords, it looks like the person that you cut out, they could be uh, reaching out to you with conflict. They see that um, you're doing well with the will of fortune. Will of fortune can mean that fortune is in your favor. So they, they see that the will is in your favor and you're, you, they could feel like you're having good luck. They, maybe they know that you're with someone that you're really excited about. So here they come. They'll be reaching out to you, bringing conflict, maybe wanting to pick a fight. That's what the Page of Swords does. The Page of Swords also is an immature energy. So this person, your person that you cut out, they might start to keep tabs on you. They might start to stalk you. Um, or do a lot of watching. Yeah, they see that your, yeah, fortune is in your favor. That's what you get with the will of fortune. So they might try to pick a fight with you. That's what the page of swords can be about. Yeah, they see that you, you've you moved on and you're doing well with the Will of Fortune here. So, they could be ready to get some type of, some type of, maybe, argument started. Page of Swords brings conflict. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what. The outcome is we've got the Two of Cups and it's with the Six of Cups. Now, the Two of Cups can refer to a romantic partnership. Keep in mind, that's not its only connotation. It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. Yeah, this card, it says that things are likely to be going well and you should be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. The Two of Cups, it, it represents true love, a balanced partnership, commitment, all of the things that most of us hope for when it comes to love and relationships. Now, so the Six of Cups, Six of Cups can be a card about nostalgia, looking back on how things used to be. It can, but not always, be connected with children or childhood. So it's going to be important not to spend too much time thinking about the good old days because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But if we start to think that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can actually become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So your outcome, Pisces, 
Two of Cups clarified by Six of Cups. So yeah, for this person that um, you're being, um, that you're getting so much recognition and attention from, and it feels like a very uh, victorious connection. Um, coming up, it's saying that things will be going really well for the two of you. It's going to start to feel like a romantic love. It's going to feel like you've, you've got a partner. Now, the Two of Cups, like I said, it, it's about true love. That could um, lead to proposal. It could lead to marriage. Two of Cups. Yeah. It's, it's starting to feel like you have the ideal partner. There's a harmony, a union, a very deep connection. And because it's with the Six of Cups, you're not looking back. Yeah, whoever this person is that you cut out, and they're bringing drama and conflict because they see that you, you're having um, a stroke of good luck or you're doing very well with the Wheel of Fortune here. You're not looking back. Six of Cups is about happy memories and being nostalgic and looking back. But because it's with the Two of Cups, you're not doing that. You're too focused on this, this wonderful love, this great energy that you and your person, your new person, or this Six of Wands person is. Yeah, it's working out really, really well. And you realize there's no need to look back. Yeah, but your, your, your person that you cut out, they're trying to make you look back. Because, like I said, they're, they're starting to do really silly stuff. Um, bring drama, bring conflict. Because they see that you're, things are going really, really well for you. So that is the reading that I have for you, Pisces. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified. When I post my next reading, I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Pisces, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe. During this crazy virus season, along with all the crazy that's going on in the news. So take care. Come back and join me for the next Pisces reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, when you get these readings, the roles of the people can be switched. They can be reversed. Meaning you could be your person, or your person could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person or people can be a situation. Or it could be a friend that you're dealing with. Or it could be a, a relative. So just take the readings for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Pisces, I can, I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.